Hello, I'm Chris Menard. In today's Microsoft Teams video, I'm going to show you how to join a Microsoft Teams meeting if you've never been in one before. So I'm going to cover making sure you have the desktop app. Just so you know, you could join a Teams meeting from Teams on the web. You could join a Teams meeting from your mobile device. But I prefer the Teams desktop app because you have all your features available to you. So let's make sure you have the app. Let's make sure it's updated. Let's make sure the new Teams meeting experience is running. I'm going to also discuss what happens if you don't have the desktop app. How do you get it? How do you actually join that meeting once you have it? And then how do you turn your camera on and off and your audio on and off? So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see first if you even have the app. So if you're a Microsoft 365 company, you probably already have it, but it's easy to check. Go to start in the bottom left corner and type in the word Teams. I have it. It says Microsoft Teams app. So I've got the app. So now what happens if you don't have the app? And I'm going to give you a great tip. If you don't have the app, I have a link, and I'll put it in the description below, to Microsoft's website, download for desktop. Microsoft Teams right here. By the way, remember there's two other ways to join from the web or from mobile. Just focus on the desktop for right now if it's your first Teams meeting. So you'll download it. To sign into Teams if you're asked would be your email and your password. Should be the same email and password you do use to get to your Outlook or your Microsoft Office uh, applications. To join the meeting, and I'll come back and discuss updating Teams in just a second, and I'll also discuss making sure you have the new meeting experience on. To join the meeting, go ahead and turn on the app and get it running. If you get an email invite in Outlook, Marketing Meeting, that's the test meeting I set up, click to join the meeting. And Microsoft Teams is already running, and I would pop into the meeting. But what if you're not using Outlook? Here is my Gmail account. But look, marketing meeting, click to join the meeting. So it's the same steps. I could also join from my Google Calendar in this example. So that is how you would join the meeting. So two items I want to make sure you know you can do, and I highly recommend these. Make sure that Microsoft Teams is up to date. So I'm up here in the top right corner. There's my profile picture. If you've never been in Teams, you're probably just going to see your initials. That's okay. Check for updates. When I click that, there's a message up here at the top of my screen. I can continue to work and it will do any updates it needs. The second item, and this one's really important for meetings. This will soon be the default, but it's not now. Microsoft has what's called the new meeting experience, and I highly encourage you have that turned on. So go to Settings, Profile Picture, Settings, General, turn on the new meeting experience. If it's already checked, you're good. You can close this window. If it is not checked, you would check it, and just checking it will not turn it on. So check it, close this window. I'm in the bottom right corner of my screen in the notification area. I'm going to point to Teams. I'm not going to sign out. This is major. You need to do a quit. So quit Teams, relaunch Teams, and then make sure the new meeting experience is turned on by going to settings, general, and it should be turned on then. It's, made, it's a big deal that you turn that on because even your meeting controls in the meeting are in a different place with that turned on. So, so the next point, okay, you've got Teams on the desktop running, you've done your updates, you got the new meeting experience working. How do you join the meeting? Again, uh, from Outlook, I could click on Join. From Gmail, I could click on Join. 
Also, your calendar in Microsoft Teams matches your calendar in Microsoft Outlook. So I could also join from right here in Teams. So it doesn't matter how you join, but let's talk about now two major features. Turning your video camera on and off and turning your microphone or your audio on and off. So I'm going to hit join. It launches the meeting. I'm recording, so I turned my camera off. I like people to have their cameras on during meetings, but that's just a preference. It's up to the person that's in the meeting. Here's my audio over here. If you don't have it turned on here and you join the meeting, I have my camera off. I have my audio off. I'm going to hit join now. Your meeting controls are up here in the top right hand corner. Remember the new meeting experience. These controls, if you don't have that turned on, are sitting down here in the middle of the screen. It's not in a very nice place for the controls. There's my audio. There's my camera. Here are all my meeting controls right here. If you need to leave the meeting, there's leave meeting and there is share your screen. But if you can get your camera and your audio working, you're kind of there. Thank you for your time. If you have any questions or comments, put them in the uh, comments below. Feel free to subscribe. Have a great day. Thank you.